on out to our Mike Yanni, who's on location this morning, learning pickleball. The question is, Mike, have you managed to stay out of the kitchen? I may have stepped into the kitchen a couple of times. Oh, a couple of times, the rules. but good thing Faith was there to give me a smack with her paddle, saying, "Yeah, stay out of the kitchen." I, I will say this, Jill. This has been quite entertaining this morning, not only because uh, it's a fun game, but Faith and Jared are brother and sister. You should hear the smack talk between them. Faith <laughs> is a firecracker, which makes her a great coach, uh, and I think I've been holding my own. Uh, but it's actually really interesting to see the the young kids on the court this morning because pickleball typically is a sport for seniors, um, but not the case this morning. Uh, Kerry, uh, general manager here of the uh, North Glenmore Park Community Association, um, you brought pickleball here, yes. but you wanted to get the youngsters involved. Uh, why is that? I, I think it's a great game. It's an easy game to pick up. You can be quite uh, competitive or active within a very short time period. It also is a game that I was introduced by Gord, who we met earlier in October, and I just thought what a great game to try and expand, and I started with my son, and he seemed to have fun, so here we are. I, don't, I keep looking over my shoulder because I don't trust Gord because he's been hitting balls our way all morning long. He's quite the character. Um, and participation actually helped out with a little bit of a grant to bring it here. They did. We put together a program called the ABCs of Teen Time, which is uh, agility, balance, and coordination. Tied that into pickleball as a way to extend those skills. And here we are. And it's a great opportunity for the, the young children and our young teens to get involved. It's also multi generational, as you can see. We have Faith and Jared's. Mom carry out, and they're actively playing as a family, which is amazing. It is. And Faith, I, I want to bring you over here for a second. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt the game. Um, because, Faith, you've been playing for a month now, but you said you've noticed a difference even of what you do in your spare time now. Yeah, during the weekends now, I go to a pickleball club, and it's really fun now because I used to just sit around doing nothing at my house. <laughs> and so now I get to meet new people, and I'm really active, and that's really fun. So, not only are you out there, Active, but you're meeting people and creating new friendships. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, I've met a lot of people. They have really helped me with my pickleball skills. They're really nice, and they just want to help me get better. And what's it like playing with the uh, family out here on the court? Well, it's really fun because. <laughs> There are people that know how to play pickleball, and I can play pickleball with them. Yeah, and uh, you have some choice words quite often for your brother. Uh, maybe. <laughs> it keeps the game interesting, right? Yeah. Well, I have to thank Faith for teaching me this morning how to play pickleball. I'm going to head back out on the courts, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to set up a match for our last segment here, Jill. Sounds good, Mike. I'm curious what she has to say to her brother when cameras aren't rolling. I still had our house.